Welcome back to the video. I am your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to take a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy S25 and I want to show you how to print that screenshot and also print emails and web pages from your phone. Okay, so the first thing is this. There's three different ways to take a screenshot and I'm going to show you all three and then you decide which one works best for you. I prefer the button combination which is going to be number one. You're going to hold down on the power and volume down button for one second just like this power, volume down, hold and let it go, and that will trigger a screenshot. So that's the first method right there. The second method, you just swipe your palm from left to right across the screen, and that will trigger a screenshot just like this. There we go. Now this does take some time to get used to, so just, you gotta practice, but palm on the screen, left to right, and it triggers the screenshot. There you go. When you see this pop up, it means you've successfully triggered a screenshot. Now the third option is pretty cool. You can just ask Gemini to do it as well. So hold your power button for one second. Gemini, can you take a screenshot for me? Sure, taking a screenshot. And just that easy, it'll take a screenshot of your screen. Now, the next question is, where does that screenshot go after I take it? We're gonna swipe up and we're gonna go to our gallery app. And here you'll find all the screenshots that we just took. Just swipe through just like that, all right? So now that we've taken this screenshot, the next question is how do I print it? What if it's an important picture that I need to print out? Well, well first, you're gonna need a wireless printer that is connected to your Wi-Fi network. That's the first thing. And you'll wanna make sure that you're also on your Wi-Fi network, so take your finger and swipe down from the right side of the corner of the screen here to bring up your menu and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. That's the first thing. Now, we're on the picture right now. We're gonna go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots, and we'll go down to print, okay? Now, make sure your printer is turned on and make sure your printer is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna come up to select a printer and just tap. And it found my Epson printer. This is the Epson XP4200. I'm gonna tap on that. And from here, I can select how many copies I want. I can tap on the number if I wanna change it. Instead of printing one, I may wanna print more. I can also switch from being colored to black and white right here. And you've got a few other options on screen as well. When you're all done, you tap on this orange printer button and this will send it to the printer. Now I'm gonna link to the printer I'm using right on screen right here. Um, this is a great wireless printer. It's very inexpensive. I think when I got it, it was around $69. And if you're looking for something because you'll need to print from your phone, this is a great option, okay? Now, I wanna move on and show you how to print an email. First, we're gonna go to the Gmail app. Go to Gmail and let's find an email that we want to print. I'm going to print this email here from uh, Delta Airlines. I'm just going to go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots. From here, we're going to move down to print. Now, after you've selected your printer one time, it should show up again, but sometimes it doesn't. So no problem. We're just going to tap select the printer. I'm going to tap on my Epson XP4200 and we'll give it a few seconds for it to load the email. Now, uh, sometimes when you're printing multiple pages, it doesn't pop up right away. You want to see that orange print button with the little print icon. That's how you know it's ready to print. Now, here's a little trick. If that if that preview is taking a long time, just do this. Tap on the drop down arrow and go to save as PDF. It'll load very quickly. And then we can tap on the drop down again and go back to Epson XP42. And now it's ready for us to print. Now notice this, this email is multiple pages. And you might say, I don't want every page, I just want the first page. In the bottom right corner, there are little checks. You can uncheck that page by uh, tapping on the little check mark. And that will cut down on what pages are printed. And when you're ready to go, tap on that little print icon and that will send it to the printer. All right, and lastly, I wanna show you how to print a web page. This is slightly different, so I wanna make sure you know how to do all three. These are the main three things that people print from their phone. Let's go to Google Chrome, and let's go to this, this ad right here from Eurogamer. Now, let's say I wanna print this page. 
I'm going to go to the upper right corner, tap on three dots. But what you'll notice is there is no print button. Chrome doesn't have a print button. No problem. There's just one extra step. You're going to tap on the share button. And from here, you'll see the print button right there. Tap on print. Select the printer. Obviously, once again, the review is not showing right away. Tap here, save as a PDF. It will load, go back, switch it to the Epson, and then we're gonna tap on that little button there. Now, it looks like my trick didn't work this time. It's still taking a bit longer for it to load, which is no problem. You're gonna wait for it to load, and then when that orange button pops up, you're gonna tap on that to send it to the printer. I'm gonna to link to another really great printer right here. Um, this is a slightly higher model of the Epson. It has the scanner, so check that one out as well. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, can you one, hit the like button down below and also leave me a comment, leave me some feedback. That just helps me and lets me know that these videos are helpful and I should keep making them. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Here I'm going to link to a playlist with more of my S25 videos, so check out that playlist. And here I'll link to another really helpful video as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.